everybody, it's Leah and I am back from my vacation. Oh, I'm gonna straighten this out a little bit. There we go. Um, I'm so happy to be back. I um, was on vacation, but I was also shooting my brother-in-law's wedding and the pictures are beautiful, but I've been inundated with them <laughs> for the last like few days since I've gotten back. So I haven't had an opportunity to make this video, but it was requested that I show how to make the pocket that goes in the back of this book. Yes, I know my book is undecorated. <laughs> Again, I've been busy photo editing. Um, so, I mean, it was great to be able to pay it forward. Um, two friends of mine were photographers and shot my wedding and gave it to me as a gift. So it was nice to pay it forward, but <laughs> I can't wait to be done with the photos and focus on the vacation part of my, of my, of my trip. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to show you again the pocket. And it is this one at the back of the book. I'm going to show you how to make a pocket similar to this. And a hinge, because uh, the hinge is going to be different because this was a plastic pocket. I showed you how to deal with a plastic pocket, but now I'm going to show you how to make um, a paper one and how to how to put the hinge onto it. Okay, so you are going to need two pieces of cardstock. I'm using eight and a half by eleven craft cardstock. Let's set our book aside. Okay, now the finished size of our pocket is going to be eight and a half tall by six and a half wide. So I'm gonna take my eight and a half by 11 cardstock and I'm gonna first score at a half inch, one inch and one and a half inches. Then I'm gonna move my cardstock down. I'm gonna make a mark at six and a half. Then I'm gonna make more marks every half inch three times. And then I'm gonna cut the last bit off, okay? And the last bit will be an inch and a half. So we're taking an inch and a half off our paper And then we're gonna score. Oh, sorry, that was noisy. <laughs> we're gonna score really quickly every half inch, three times on both sides. It's a half inch, one inch, one and a half inches. And then we're gonna just flip it over, do the same thing on the other side. Okay, and this is gonna be the front piece of our pocket. Okay, now you're gonna take this piece and you're gonna fold, you can see my score marks. New lighting, guys. Oh my God, it's the brightest light ever. <laughs> I turned it on and I about went blind. <laughs> I used this lighting setup at the, at the wedding and I, and I didn't realize how bright it was. I hope nobody looked right into it. Okay, we're gonna fold in on both sides. Go back. on both sides, towards the outside, and then fold in again. And what this is gonna do is create an accordion on the sides, just like the pocket that I had before. You can see right there, if it ever comes in focus. Is it focusing? You can kind of see it. Sorry, I don't know what's wrong with my camera. There it is, okay? And the last one this way. Okay, and so that's our six and a half wide pocket. Now we're gonna take a piece of our second card, a second piece of cardstock. <laughs> we're gonna cut, oh my gosh. We're gonna make it 10 inches tall. So, we're, so for me, I'm cutting mine down from eight and a half by 11 to 10. Ooh, this thing, you need this little piece in here, but it keeps falling out of my book, uh, out of my uh, cutter. It's kind of obnoxious, but. Why isn't it? Oh, and that's the other thing. It doesn't, and you have to buy more of them with this Fiskars cutter. You, you need a couple of them because it starts to wear out. Okay. Next, we're going to cut this down to six and a half wide. Okay, and lastly, we're gonna come in from the top or the bottom, whichever you choose, one and a half inches, and we're gonna score that. Can you see? Oh my gosh, sorry. 
Okay, so now we should have a piece, eight and a half to the score mark, and then one and a half, uh, and then ten inches to the to the top. Okay, we're gonna round our corners. Sorry, I didn't have a round on camera because my garbage is dirty. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna fold this piece down. Okay, the final thing we're gonna do is just glue this down to here. Actually, you know what? You should probably cut it down just a little bit below the final measurement. I would take like an eighth of an inch off, maybe. Um, just so you have plenty of room for that. There we go. For the top to fold down over the pocket. Okay? Now, when we glue this, we're only gluing down the sides. You're not going to glue the bottom of this shut. Okay? Um, because that is where our hinge is going to go. All right, so we take our glue, whatever kind you like, tape, wet glue, whichever. Just make sure you glue right to the edges, okay? There we go, and the other side. Get it down even with the bottom of this piece. Okay, not at the top, because then you won't be able to really close the pocket. Okay. On that side. Try to make sure it's nice and squared up. Okay. Now, remember we cut a little piece off of our book. We're going to take and make that six and a half wide. Okay. Let's leave that there. This piece here that we cut off the top. Okay. We're going to make this. Six and a half. Actually, just a little under six and a half. Maybe like an eighth inch under, or a little tiny bit under. And then you just fold this right in half, okay? You can score it or not. But. I mean, it's not going to be showing, so it doesn't have to be perfect, okay? You're going to take this piece and glue it right inside here. Again, make sure that you cut it to whatever size you need because, it, you know, once you, once you glue this down, your measurement may be a little bit different than mine. Um, and that just has to do with how you end up gluing the, uh, the accordion part down, okay? And so you're going to just take some glue. Put it right in the inside. No, not like that. You take, <laughs> oh my gosh, why do I have such a hard time with this? I did this the last time with the hinge, guys. You have no idea how much I edited this out. Okay, you take the folded hinge and you make a V, okay? The, open, the, the one part, the front part, goes into the back here with glue so that you have a hinge that goes like this. Or you can glue your pocket shut and you can glue it to the back, however you choose, okay? Um, and that's it, that's the whole thing. And then this gets glued down inside the back of your book. Okay, if this is your back page, pretend this isn't here. And you have to do just like the other one, you're gonna wanna punch a hole, okay? And it'll go just like that, and it should fit right in really nicely. Why is this not? Yep. And it fits just like the other one did, and it will fold down just like the other one. And if you wanted to, put on something like this, a tie like that, or use, um, what do you call it? Use brads. You would just come in and just punch a hole right in the center, measure, punch a hole here, punch a hole here, and you're good to go.
All right. Hopefully you guys uh, found that easy to follow. And I will be posting my finished book soon. Keep an eye out because when I do, I will have a special surprise in store. Um, but I will tell you this, you do need to be a subscriber in order to partake in it, okay? Again, thank you so much for joining me. And hopefully by next week, I'll have my finished album for you to take a look at. And also our next Make This With Me project. Take care, have a great day.